Welcome to Next Level. This is Pastor Shaw from the International Free Baptist Church with the Next Level program. And today I've got some very interesting guests for us this evening. Very deep again. Yes, he lives. Yes, he lives forever again. And who taught this? Welcome to Next Level. I know you enjoyed the Next Level Singers and uh, today our very first guest with me is uh, the Great Apostle. Not the Apostle Paul or the Apostle James, but uh, Apostle Davis Boston. Welcome to the Next Level program. Thank you, Pastor Rod, I think is the set name. Um, it's good to be here this evening to sure. share at the next level with you. Okay, all right. So, uh, Apostle, tell us the name of your ministry and where you're located. It's High Ground Tabernacle of Praise. We are located at 4960 Reading Road, mm -hmm. Suite A, that's in Stone Mountain, mm -hmm. Georgia. In Stone Mountain, Georgia. Okay, and how long have you been there? This year will be eight years since we began the ministry. Wow. Right uh, there. Right there, right. at the very same spot. Very same spot. So God's been good to you, Apostle. Been marvelous. Marvelous, huh? Yes. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Tell me a, a little bit of how you got into ministry. Um, to shorten the story, I can walk it backwards. Um, mm -hmm. I've been saved since four, age 14. Wow. Been in ministry since then, different level. In 2004, God showed up and asked me to leave a lucrative business, mm. a million dollar business in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, mm -hmm. to come to the United States to attend Bible school. 
know not when, know not how, know mm -hmm. not why. Mm -hmm. And after graduating from Bible school, I went on to grad school to do an MBA in information technology. Still know not when, know not why, <laughs> know not how. And it was interesting that um, that was a dry time in my life, very mm -hmm. dry period in my life. Mm -hmm. And God sent me a midwife. Mm. Yes, she's not on set tonight, but uh, God sent her into my life. Mm -hmm. And she kept saying from the first time she met me, mm -hmm. you're called to be a pastor. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, that's not possible. That's not going to be possible. Mm. Until one Sunday evening, we were together and I had an encounter mm. with the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Where my breath stopped. I stopped breathing. Mm -hmm. And all I can hear her voice saying, say yes. Mm. And I responded yes. Yes to what? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But just yes. And then she said, now you have answered the call. Praise God. To be a pastor. Okay, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So how did you get the ministry started? How did you go about getting the ministry started? Well, the ministry starts by, again, the midwife is giving instructions. Mm -hmm. And she said, you need to call a fast. Mm -hmm. And so I went before God, mm -hmm. and God said to me, go to the top of Stone Mountain. Mm -hmm. Be there at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. Take the midwife with you. Mm -hmm. And I'll download for you the vision for the ministry. Okay. Now the conclusion of the fast on the sixth day, mm -hmm. I heard the voice of God saying, High ground tabernacle praise is already established in the heaven. Go let it be manifest in the earth. Right? We had no member. We had no money. We had no place. Mm -hmm. But today, eight years after, yes. we still stand proclaiming the word of God. Well, praise God, praise God, praise God. Definitely a man of God, uh, Abrahamic kind of movement there, huh? It is. Just move out. It is. Move out into uh, 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 into ministry. Amen. As you like to say, yeah. Yeah. Into, ministry. into ministry. Into ministry. Into ministry. Because ministry is not always the term in, uh, are, are, are given to you before you even know what where ministry is going to be. That's correct. That's correct. Sometimes God will call you out Amen. and bring you to a specific place. Yes. A ministry begins then. Without you knowing. Yes, yes. And God called us and we, we, we started the ministry. Both of us started the ministry. Mm -hmm. And like I said earlier, we didn't have any members. Mm -hmm. But when God called you, he doesn't tell you the end. You accept the call and mm -hmm. faith bring the full manifestation of the calling mm -hmm. and we we trust god all the way praise god and we have seen the full manifestation of god mm -hmm. and high ground tabernacle praise in the eight years praise god praise god so um tell me some things that you have done over the, the uh, within the community within the last um couple of years but well, actually the first the first year we, we, we began ministry, yeah. my wife said that God said that we must do, we must provide gifts for the community. Right, right, right. Um, and she being who she is, mm -hmm. um, want, would always want to give the best. Mm -hmm. The mantra is that don't give what you can't use for yourself, mm. which means that we have to get new gifts. Not use gifts, but new gifts for the community. And I, I call a friend, call a friend, and I said, Hey, this is what we want to do. Mm -hmm. we, we began November 14, 2014. Mm -hmm. And this is December, Christmas. Mm -hmm. She's speaking about begin community work. Yes. And the, the friend gave us $500. We went to family, dollar and dollar train. We bought everything that we could with that money. And we got to a place where we were giving away up to 2,500 toys per year. Praise God. To six communities, six counties in Georgia. 
Praise God. And we haven't stopped. Praise God. We haven't stopped. Praise God. And now we, we, we just had a, a great, great event mm -hmm. about a month ago mm -hmm. where we convert the parking lot into a community store. And people came and everybody left happy. Actually, it was, it was under the theme, bring your bag and come. All right. All right. Whatever, whatever you need, the size of your bag depends on your need. Praise God. Praise God. That, that, that was a, that was a great uh, theme right there. Uh, Apostle, uh, that is how I met you. Cause when we started International Free Baptist Church, uh, in Lilburn, we weren't at Lilburn at the time. We were actually at the, uh, the school at Shiloh. And uh, our children needed toys for that particular uh, Christmas. And uh, a deacon of mine's at the time recommended you. And everything that you said is true. Because guess what? Those toys were brand new toys. And, and those children enjoyed every single one of those presents that you made available to us. Uh, I remember you asking me a, a couple of days ago, well, how did I really meet you, Pastor Shaw? But that's how you really met me. Okay. Praise God. Even that very same program that you, you, you spoke about, you were the ones that supplied the, the, the children at our church with toys and, and gifts for two years. I think you did it for two years. Yes. And we thank you for it. Yes, God. Praise God. Praise God. So the ministry is, is growing strong. It is. Okay. And this is something I want to ask you about, because I know it's coming up. Uh, 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 and um, a prophetess is not here with us this evening on set. That's right. Uh, it's an evening of prayer that I hear coming about. Tell me about that. Well, actually, um, we were having an international prophetic conference. Mm. And um, at the end, we got home and she said, God has given me this vision to do 12 hours of prayer. 12 hours. Consecutive. Start at 6 yes. p.m. Finish at 6 a.m. Mm. And um, she has worked hard on it. Mm -hmm. And it's now into full year. Yeah. And and if, you, if you're if you viewing this program for the event, mm -hmm. it's on Saturday. Sorry. It's on Friday evening. Okay. The 14th of October. All right now. At High Ground Tabernacle of Praise. Okay. Um, the schedule is already out. Mm -hmm. The fly is already out. Mm -hmm. And the place is prepared. And all you have to do is to come and pray. Praise God. Praise God. You know it's going to open up some some doors there, right? We are looking forward for that. You know it's going to break down some barriers there, Amen. right? Amen. That's what we are looking Set for. Set some captives free. That's what we are looking for. All right. <laughs> we are expecting to happen. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I'll be praying along with you. Amen. Looking yeah, forward to having this. Uh, yeah, praying, praying along with you. Looking forward to having this. Uh, and when Prophetess gets a chance to come to the program, I'm going to ask her a little bit more about that. But tell me now, uh, before we uh, we end today, what is in store? What is the vision like? Because you're the visionary for higher level. What is the vision? Actually, we we, we have already moved to a higher level. Mm. But now you go to the next level. And we this <laughs> year, next 20, 2023, yeah. we are going to be at a higher level. Mm -hmm. Because um if I may go back a little bit, when High Ground Tabernacle Praise was, was came into being, mm -hmm. it was not a local ministry. Mm. It was actually an international ministry. Praise but God. We, we, we thought it wise to have a local base and not to be a renegade and running around the world without a base. Praise God, praise God. So we started the ministry, and now 2022. Yes. The international favor. Praise God. Has come to High Ground Tabernacle, praise. Praise God. You got to catch us if you need us. <laughs> because we're going to be gone come 2023. Praise God, praise God. And I'm an international church too. I'm an international free Baptist church. So I know exactly what the vision looks like. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So we'll be running around in some different countries out here. Together. 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 All right? Together. All right? Amen. So, uh, Apostle, it has been a pleasure to have you here with us this evening. And it's not going to be the last time. No, sir. Uh, we're going to be doing some things. And I remember doing a program with you uh, several years ago at the church. Yes. 
and I intend to come back at some time, at some point, come right into the building, right into the praise, mm -hmm. get a recording of that and let everybody experience what you uh, you guys experience over there at uh, Aya Brown. Uh, is that an in, uh, uh, invitation that I, I have? Oh yes, you have an invitation. Yes, you have sir. an invitation to come mm -hmm. at any time. You don't have to ask permission. <laughs> they giving you that, that, that free entrance. Yes, yes. Uh, no admission mm -hmm. fee to come into Higher Ground Tabernacle of Praise. Because we, we at Higher Ground Tabernacle of Praise believe in, in collaboration. Yes. We don't see that we as an island by ourselves. Praise we God. can't take the wall by ourselves. Mm -hmm. Paul didn't go by himself. Exactly. Peter didn't go by himself. Exactly. Barnabas didn't go by himself. Mm -hmm. So we can be Barnabas and John Mark, or we can be Paul and we yeah. can be Silas to take the, the, the devil, bring the devil to his knees yes. mm -hmm. and set the captive free. Right. The, the gospel of Jesus Christ to the next level. Amen. Praise God. We're going to do that together. Yes, sir. Right, Apostle? Yes, sir. Praise God. Yes, Praise God. It's great having Apostle here with us uh, this evening. And we thank you for stopping by. And I look forward to speaking with you right here at Next Level again. All right? Praise God. Amen.
Welcome back to Next Level. And I'm glad that you enjoyed the Next Level Singers. Weren't they great? Now, this evening, I've got for you a special guest. His name is Michael Edwards. Michael, welcome. Thank you. And Michael is doing a very unique ministry within the Atlanta area. And I, I, I'm so glad to have him here with us on Next Level this evening. And go ahead and tell us the name of your, your program, Michael, that, that you operate. What's the name of that program? It's called Community Souls. Community Souls. Tell us a little bit about Community Souls. Um, I began this program in 2020, exactly on February. Um, it's actually been a long story, but I met some folks um, downtown, mm -hmm. the homeless, mm -hmm. and it was about, about 25 years. Mm -hmm. So I went to McDonald's and I bought 200 hamburgers mm -hmm. and fed them. Mm -hmm. And then from then, they asked, when are you going to come back? I was like, maybe next week. <laughs> and that was, in, that was in February of 2020. And basically, ever since, I've been doing it. Every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Every Sunday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And Fridays. So you started... Uh, this program by just meeting some folks at McDonald's, deciding to buy food for them for that evening, yes. and that became a ministry. Ministry, and I think within six months it got very expensive. <laughs> of course, so I went, then I went to Sam's Club, and then and now I buy mm -hmm. all the food and I cook it myself. You cook the food yourself, and I cook enough to feed about 150 minimum. Mm -hmm. And I travel mm -hmm. downtown to allow about five locations. Mm -hmm. and I feed them. Okay, what are some of those locations that you, you travel to right now? Um, I go to, I think it's Peachtree and Edgewood. Okay. By the Waywood Park. Mm -hmm. And I sit there for about three hours. Mm -hmm. Then go to the Five Points location. Mm -hmm. About two hours. And then, then I go to, there's a place called, it's called Gateway. Mm -hmm. Where you have, um, we have folks that that are homeless. Mm -hmm. That they, they actually have a home for them. Mm -hmm. That no food. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I do about four stops every time. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Well, uh, Michael, uh, you just started doing it that day, or was that already in you? It was just that day when I started. Really. Praise God, praise God. So you 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 never did it before. I never did it before. I never thought in life that I would be doing this. Praise God. It was just that day. Um, actually, that actually that day I cooked for the church, mm -hmm. and then dropped the food off, mm -hmm. and I'm going home around I think it's around 14. Mm -hmm. That's when I saw it. Okay. And the body there. Yeah. yeah. Well, praise God. Praise God. So how? Do you feel now that you're doing that program? <laughs> How does it make you feel? Actually, it makes me feel good. Actually, um, mm -hmm. sometimes I wonder where the energy comes from mm -hmm. because I get up at seven o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. on Sunday mm -hmm. and Wednesday mm -hmm. and Friday, and I cook and so about twelve hundred. Mm -hmm. Pack it up and I go downtown. For Just by yourself, or you have some people helping? I have some people that come and help me downtown to serve the food. Okay. And I cook everything myself. Well, praise God. And what kind of food do you prepare? <laughs> Everything from mac and cheese, jerk chicken, uh, collard greens, um, spaghetti, mm -hmm. like, like that. a lot of them. Um, I do taco wraps. Mm -hmm. I, I do uh, things like chili, mm -hmm. hot dogs. Yeah. Okay, so you were a chef before? No. You mean? I I mean, I used to cook at home, like 2013. Yeah, okay. Like, like, let me say, like, little things. Mm -hmm. but, 2020 is like just blew up. Okay. Uh, I personally believe that God gifted you with all of these things so you can operate that ministry that you are, you are operating in. And, and, I, and, I, and I believe it, it is a ministry. It's, it's a ministry that He has called you to and it's a ministry that He has prepared you for. What do you think about that? The thing is that I don't know where I'm going from here. Mm. I just get into it. And I don't know my next level. I never thought I'd be doing this. Mm -hmm. Never. Mm -hmm. um, because I'm saying nobody really see the homies, kind of shy from them. Mm -hmm. But I'm down there with them, we're like family. Mm -hmm. And then before we eat, we pray and all get along. Like actually, when I get there, mm -hmm. I don't touch nothing. They take everything out of my car. Praise God. And I set it up, 
all of them the drinks. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, if it's just me, they serve the water or serve the chips, mm -hmm. and then I serve the food. Praise God, praise God. And I particularly like one thing that you said. You said when you get there, you pray. Yeah. So you're a praying man. Nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. I'm far from that. I'm far from that. I'm just a little bit. Just, just to say no. That's it. Just saying, say no. Praise God. Well, you say enough. I say no. Well, you say enough. And I'm still here. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you for that. Yeah. So, Michael, you know, uh, uh, I really admire the things that you are doing. And I, I pray the Lord's blessing upon you as you go forward and, 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 and uh, perform this, carry out this ministry that's been given to you. Uh, I would particularly like for uh, those that are viewing us to and to get in touch with you if they need to uh, provide donations for you or they would like to help out with the, uh, the food for cooking or so forth like that. Yes, uh, do you have an address that they could send it to or a particular uh, location that you would like them to drop it off at? Um, I don't have one yet except my own. Mm -hmm. But um, as far as making a donation, I do, I do have a website. Okay. It's called communitysouls.org, mm -hmm. and basically everything is there, the Zelle and the Cash App, mm -hmm. um, but that's it. Really. Okay, very good. You know, so Michael told me that he, he wasn't a, a, a man of many words, but I think he said a lot in the few words that he said, and, uh, and I would uh, encourage each and every one of us, if you have it within your means, Reach out to Michael or reach out to myself, Pastor Rob, here at the Next Level Program, and we will get you in touch with Mike, and you'll be able to, to, to I know you'll benefit from whatever, whatever it is that you'll, you'll have to offer. Uh, Mike, uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you for having me. And I'm glad that you took the time to come down and, and to uh, speak with me. Uh, I know you're going to go and pick up your mother when you leave here. Yeah. Uh, are you a family man or you, you, you're, you're, you're very, very close with your family? Very close with your family. Yeah. Um, it's me and two sisters. Okay, all right. Two sisters, huh? Two sisters. I mean, you're the middle, so. You're kind of, uh, so that's, that's, how I, that's how you know how to cook, right? Yeah, that's yeah. how you know how to cook that one. Right? mom, actually. Uh, okay. So now I cook for her. Okay, you cook for your mother now. Yeah. Okay. So big sister taught you how to cook? No. Big sister moved on. We used to stay with mom for about five years. Yeah. The mom moving with me, so I went to cook with mom and watch her cook. Right, praise God. But the secret was when she's cooking, I'm watching dishes and I'm looking. Mm. So, because mothers, when they cook, when they're done, yeah. there's parts everywhere. Yeah. Most of them, right? So, so you taught me something today. You know, uh, I, I should have been looking when mom was cooking. <laughs> <laughs> praise just, Not just eating, mom. I, I should have been looking. Well, praise God for you. Stop, yes. Thanks for stopping uh, by Next Level. Yes. You are the, 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 the quintessential person wow. that we, would, we, we wow. want to speak about on Next Level. People that are bringing the community to the very next level just with pure community service, with a pure heart. Thanks for stopping by today.